Hello, hello, sparkle lovers. This is Alice. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. You know the drill, turn on that fucker resolution on the video. Today, we have two kits to unbox from Destructed by Diamonds. First one is from Puffigator. And the second one is a free art style kit. It's mainly because I missed out on Diamond Art Club's I Am Not a Hoarder kit. So it's my attempt to find another one just like it. Second order of business is we got some art docs container to unbox. They actually reached out to me on Instagram asking me to do a product review. But long story short, I said I'll do it, but I declined to be compensated for it. But we will unbox them and we'll compare them to some of the Amazon ones I got. And we'll probably use some of them to kit up the Puffigator kit. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, here is the packaging. It's pretty rainbow colory, so I really like that. I ordered some accessory with the two kits, so I don't know if they stuff any of them inside. That seems like certain wrap. <laughs> um, So this is the Puffigator kit. It's Lunar New Year Kitty. And in case you haven't figured out by now, I'm Chinese. So that's a very important uh, occasion for me. Ah, so this is the freestyle one. And these are some of the extra stuff I ordered. All right, so we'll get into this one a bit later. Let's look at the Puffigator one first. I like this purple box. So this is a diamond painting pen, the plastic one. This plastic bag actually feels um, really high quality, it's like pretty sturdy. I wonder if they gave us any more tools though. Oh, I can't even. This is so cute. So this is all the diamonds. This looks like a giant piece of release paper because it's super smooth on one side, but a bit matte on the other side. So I feel like this side is like a release paper. This is probably the biggest release paper I've ever got. And this is the sticker. Sheet. Okay, so here is the original artwork and here are all the symbols, the numbers, and they're individually cut as well. A diamond painting tray. It's kind of interesting that they can just close on top of each other and it's heart shaped. And some washi tape and some wax. All right, this is our kitty. This really does not disappoint. And it's not a super intimidating size, so I really, really pleasantly surprised, even though this is a new to me shop. All right, since my recent new format of diving a little bit into artist bio has got some positive feedback, let's also take a look at Puffigator because this is the first time I'm unboxing one of her kits on this channel. So here I have got Puffigator's website. Let's see. Oh, she just got an artwork here and a few social sites. Very simple first page. Let's go to the above tab. Her name is actually Nana Chi, I think. Although she says it's supposed to be pronounced as Ki. She lived on three continents by the age of two. Well, that's impressive. And grew up in a small town in New England by the sea. Her mother was an international businesswoman. Gave her a name that works in many languages. Okay, so now that makes sense. I think she may be Chinese. Uh, so she is a Chinese last name, but because I'm assuming her mom's businesswoman background also gave her the magic of having a name that sounds interesting in multiple languages. That's why if you pronounce it in English culture, you will pronounce it as Qi. 
So that's a pretty smart idea. I kind of wish my mom gave me a name like that instead of, you know, I named myself Alice. But I also had the privilege of picking my own English name, so that's pretty good. She also certificates in astronomy and astrobiology. Wow. Her clients, wow, here's some pretty big name clients, okay? Disney, Smithsonian, Jane Goodall, Roblox, even Roblox. Joanne, Hobby Lobby, I mean, that's just assuming they got our diamond painting kids in there or something like that. Congressional campaign, okay. I don't know what extent that is, but I'm already thoroughly impressed. She's much, much more than just a painter. Her skills even include 3D printing, graphics design, light coding, whoa, okay, building electronics, okay. I didn't do very well in my circuit class in school even though I did engineering, so now I'm really pretty impressed. Um, all right, let's take a look at her Instagram. So this is the style of artwork that she has. A lot of tigers, kogoras, deer. I think this is a Pokemon, I forgot the name. That's really cute. I believe this one just got released by Diamond Art Club this weekend. Okay, this one's really cute, even though it's not a Kogor or a tiger, but it's really cute. <laughs> I believe this one is also on Distracted by Diamonds website as a diamond painting kit. Oh, this is definitely also Lunar New Year themed because um, in Chinese New Year occasions, we would have these lions dancing around. It's actually human inside them. We kind of call them dancing lions. And this one, I think it's also released by Diamond Art Club already. So yeah, this is the style of artwork that she has. Let's take a quick look of her shop. Lots of art prints, stickers. I have a hard time resisting stickers because I recently also unboxed a happy mail from another artist. So I might have to come back to this, especially this lollipop bumblebee. Look at that, that is really cute. All right, let's get into the kit itself, all right? This cat is usually referred to as Maneki Neko, so it's more a Japanese symbol of good luck and new year and themed like that. However, this is the only lunar new year themed kit that I can find, so I had to get it. It's actually a bit of an interesting story that in the Chinese zodiac, the 12 of them, there is no cat in there. However, there is the mouse. And there was a uh, two versions for explanations for why the mouse is in there but the cat is not. The one that's more scientifically sounding way is because that cat actually originated from somewhere in Egypt. So it didn't come to China or Chinese people never saw a cat until after the culture of 12 zodiacs has already been formed. The rumor in the story version is that the mouse was super tricky or t intended to not tell the cat the correct day for when they go and get enlisted to become one of the 12 zodiacs. So the cat simply missed that day to report to the higher court in the heavens to become one of the 12 zodiacs. So I don't know which version is true, more likely the scientific one. And here we are, if there is a Lunar New Year themed kit around the next zodiac coming up, which is actually rabbit. I definitely would have gotten that, or I definitely would have got that in a heartbeat. But this is the only one I've found. So if you see another one, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll put the original artwork next to this image here as well. 
because the one printed on the sticker sheet it's very similar or very close to what actually get ended up printed on the canvas. It's got all the firework coming out on the side, just like what it is on the canvas. However, if we compare to the original artwork, you can see that the, there's extra fireworks that got added in here. So I'm not sure which version came out first or whether they decided to bling up this kit for diamond painting specifically, but I really like the extra, extra firework. Just looking at some additional elements in this artwork that makes me really, really love it because of how much elements are actually related to Chinese Lunar New Year got incorporated by Puffy Gator. For example, this flower over here, I initially thought that it is the Sukura flower, which is Japanese, but later on I realized it's actually plume blossom. So it's a kind of a Chinese flower that is known to blossom around the time of Chinese New Year. And it's got a special meaning behind it in the culture as well, because it's known to blossom around the time when it's really, really cold and lots of snow. So it's said that its fragrance came from the extreme snow, which basically carried the kind of meaning that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, or stronger people come out of extreme pressure or extreme difficulty. So it's got a special meaning behind that that I really, really love. And second element that I want to point out is this red pocket. So growing up every year around Lunar New Year, I've always got red pockets from my family, like my grandparents, my uncles, my parents themselves, because they are lucky monies. And as a person growing up, I basically put them into my designated personal bank account. And that's my way of building a little bit of a saving. And if there is some, say, laptop I want to buy for studying and things like that, that would be the first account I would go towards. So I think it's a good way to teach kids to learn some financial responsibility as a kid. And it's also definitely goodwill from the grandparents. Third item is the lanterns during Chinese Lunar New Year time. These lanterns are literally everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. And another thing here is the dumplings at the bottom. Um, the more northern part of China I really like to eat dumplings compared to the southern part which likes to eat rice more. But it's definitely one of the staples during Chinese Lunar New Year. Last but not least, this outfit that the cat is wearing here, it's called Tang Zhuang. And growing up, I have worn a fair amount of my own share of these growing up around, around the Lunar New Year time. All of these white here are usually fluffy parts of the little jacket. And these gold ones, they're usually sold with golden threads. So all around gold and red is Chinese people's favorite color around the Lunar New Year time. As you can tell on the lanterns, on the pockets, on the jackets. So these are basically elements that are really, really close to home that I really love about this artwork in particular. So now I'm going to put this painting horizontal so that you can see the full picture and I'm going to lay out the diamonds to see what the main colors are. So here is an overview of all the diamonds for you to get a general sense of the color of this kit. Very colorful, lots of red, golden yellow, some lavender. So here's all the colors in this kit. It's very colorful, got lots of red, yellow, pink, lavender tones, some white on the kitty, of course. And um, here are the three AV colors. It's a bit of a light teal color, a lavender color, and a black color. And let me put these aside and zoom in and show you where they go. So first up is this black AB. It's really strong because it got a bit of a really strong emerald shin to it. And I think it goes to... Yeah, it goes to the eyes of the kitty with this black and heart symbol or white heart symbol on a black background. And a bit of on the mouth. And I don't really see anywhere else. So that's a black AB. 
I don't know if I will eventually want to use this AB on here because it seems like really strong with too much green heel to it. So I may substitute with more crystals, but we'll see when I get to the area and I'll talk about how I did it in my post review, of course. And the second one is this lavender AB. The AB sheen in here is not as strong. And the symbol for this one, the symbol for this one is sort of a U-turn symbol. So let's see. So it's around some of her color, the fluffy color here. So it's around some of the fluffy color here. Fluffy color here. And a bunch of them in the fluffy areas here and here. Basically at the bottom or at the edge throughout this fluffies of the jacket. And some of them here as well. So on all these fluffies of them. And also a bunch of them in her tail. As you can see over here, over here. Some of the lines in her tail are all made of this Lavender AB. There's a little bit in the background of this, for example, this firework. And there's actually a lot more at this corner as well in these backgrounds. For example, this huge patch of the U-turn symbol, they're all this lavender AB. So I'm not sure what is there to highlight in the background here. I may use a non-AB color for here if I decide that I don't see anything in this background to be highlighted. Sometimes they would use different Sometimes, sometimes they will use the same DMC number for the color they want there and they just see what areas might get that color and make them all to have the same AB but if in my opinion decide that there's nothing I want to highlight in this background I might just substitute with non-AB 209. So here, same story. This is around a firework though, so I will probably keep that. So this is the edge of the firework. It has a bunch of this lavender AB. So I think I will keep that for sure. All right, the last one is this light teal color. So the last one is this light teal color AB. And the symbol for that, 775 AB. And the symbol for that is this left arrow. It might be a little hard to see from your angle, so I'm just gonna scan it and put original picture next to where I'm looking at on the canvas. So some areas that has this teal blue AB with this symbol include a bunch of there on the color, of the color over here, over here, basically all around her color. So my, I might also, so my eye, because this teal AB is all around her color and there's a bunch of purple AB as well, 
I might substitute even some of these whites with AB, even though this kit does not come with any white AB. It's just so that this color is more consistently blinging throughout, if that makes sense. Because you can see here it's got a bunch as well, and there will be some purple ones that are AB. So if I substitute everything within this outline to be AB, it might be more consistent. And also a little bit here on her hair, or should I say whisker? They probably more like her edge of her hair. And there's also a little bit of it in the firework over here. It makes sense that the firework glows, you know? And also in this firework, this firework, this one in a few in this firework. And here is the bottom of the kitty. There's a bunch of them underneath here as well. Looking at the original artwork, I think the bottom is just background underneath flowers. So it doesn't necessarily make sense for the background to have AB. So I'll have to decide whether I would substitute these with the non-AB775 and instead make these flowers to have ABs. Because I think it makes more sense to highlight the flowers. But I'll decide when I get to it. So now that we have seen all the ABs on this kit, so basically all over her colors, the fluffy edges of the jacket, a little bit on the eyes and on her lip, in some of her tails, these purple outlines, they are purple ABs. And there are some in the backgrounds that I haven't decided whether I'll make them AB or actually make them use the traditional drills that don't have any AB coatings. There are some additional stuff that I might also bling up. For example, I know for a fact that growing up, these jackets are always sewed with golden threads for some of these patterns. So all the letter E's here and some letter L's, I might replace them with some gold drills or more sparkly bubble or crystal drills because I really want them to have the look of a traditional outfit having these thread on by gold threads. Also the lantern over here, they're usually, especially here, made of gold stuff. I might also substitute with gold but there's also a lot of colors in here, so it might be very difficult to only substitute one of them. I might keep it as is or substitute them with a lot of ABs. Most importantly, you guys know I like to sparkle up the eyes with crystals. So I might use some red crystals in here and some yellow crystals for the under of her eyes, or I should say the actual crystal of her eyes. So yeah, this sort of concludes the kit. I'm really pleased to see that it includes so many elements that are actually very close to heart to our customs. And I'm very happy that this is a Lunar New Year themed kit. What makes me even more happy is that the artist added extra fireworks into this painting over here and over here compared to the original image. And I'm definitely a big, big lover of fireworks. No matter what I am, if there's some festivity that has fireworks, I usually try to find a way to get to them because I really enjoy the sparklies in the sky. And it's kind of a funny story that I think Chinese people invented fireworks first and would decide to make it something pretty in the sky. Meanwhile, on the other side of the planet, they are discovered to made into weapons that are really strong and powerful. I don't really know what to make of it, but I still find it very pretty. So now that we have taken a look at this canvas, and I said that I'm going to kit up some of the diamonds with the art dog containers, let me roll up the canvas and set it aside for now. All right, here is the art dog sample of their drawers of containers. They actually reached out to me on Instagram to do a product review. And in return, I get this product for free. However, I made sure to ask them whether I am free to express any honest product review opinion. They're actually very genuine in saying that they welcome any feedback about the product. 
So the promise of getting the sample is A, yes, I get this product for free for review, but I'm free to express any honest product opinion. And B, I actually decline to receive any compensation as a quote unquote affiliate. You can use the code Alice to order if you like their product on their website. I'll put in the description down below, but I have explicitly declined to receive any compensation. So the only thing that will help me if you decide to order through my link is that they will deem this collaboration as effective if there's enough traffic and they will send me further product for review. So I can review more product for you guys in the future. So without further ado, let's dive in. So when I received this, it came inside a bigger box. I didn't know what it was, but then after I opened the bigger box, I saw our dot on here. So that's how I know it's actually the free sample. Um, apparently they probably drop shit from their Amazon, but if you want to order, use my code, you will get 10% off and it's not just for first time orders. Um, but you should go to their website to use that code for 10% off and you will also get free shipping. So here is a rubber funnel. Let me just pop it open for you real quick. So you can use it like this. And they also included a bunch of stickers that you can write on them. So here are the drawers. There's the four drawer version. I think there's also a four and nine drawers version. So you can take a drawer out and here it is seven times five, which is 35 containers that are Tic Tac like. On each of the drawers. So here are the four drawers of Tic Tac containers. And in the back here, there are some holes that you can use to hang these on the wall if you would like. And this is how you can undo them and rearrange them in any fashion. Let me put them into a stack of four real quick. So now I put it into a stack of four. It's kind of interesting how, it's kind of interesting how, so I didn't put it on very stably because I did not do this I probably, let me redo that. So I needed to make sure that when I'm sliding in from here, I got both of the rails in, like from up here, they need to both fit the bottoms. And it's kind of funny that it would slide out this way, but if you have it stand up most of the time, it should be okay. Because it does, because it does not slide towards the back. So there's a stop here, but it's kind of risky. It could sometimes slide out in this direction depending on how you use it. So here it is. I got four drawers stacked on top of each other. Now let's compare them with some of the ones I got from Amazon. So these are the slightly more expensive ones. Let me take two that are kind of the worst quality. So you can kind of see it's got some you know, not super smooth edges, but overall the quality is okay. And these, this is the one I'm using for Fly Me to the Moon. So you also see a little bit of a rough edge over here, but overall, very similar quality. I suspect they're all from the same factory.
and looking through all of them from art dot I don't really see any that has obvious defect like the cheaper ones so this part I'm definitely pretty pleased with Here's another drawer. I don't see any with significant defects on the tip or anything. It's kind of loose just like the cheaper ones though. Sometimes this cap might fall out. I personally don't mind because as soon as you press it down like this, it doesn't happen as often. And I frequently put the sticker over the whole thing. Like I would put the sticker from left all the way and then go down to the right. So it will help hold it in as long as I'm still kitted up. The third drawer. I don't see any with significant defects either. So yeah, I would say the containers from Art Dot seem to be well worth the money, even though they're slightly more expensive. But the overall quality seems to be better, especially when it comes to the defect around the little edges. So yeah, that's kit up this kit into the Art Dot containers because Lunar New Year is January 22nd. I have limited time to work on this. I probably will not finish in time, but I'll still give it a try because I really, really love this kit and it's very perfectly festive. Oh wait, here I missed one more color. So, now this makes the complete family. So there you are, 31 colors that have fit into the Tic Tacs. And then there's about 17 that will not fit out of a 50 color kit. And three of them that are AB that I just like leaving on the side. I've dealt with this kind of situation before. Usually I would key up the ones that are smaller in here. And then the bigger ones I would either straight up put them into Bella trays or Muni made trays or I would put them into the one of the trays that I have 3D printed that would hold baggies standing up like that in a row. If I really really want to keep up everything in containers, I don't know if I show these before, there are also these ones that are approximately twice as wide as these ones that from Art Dot, these bigger ones because it's twice as the width, it will fit about twice as many diamonds because the other dimensions, they are the same. I've seen people jokingly call these Papa Tic Tacs and Mama Tic Tacs and I've even seen some that are even half the width but same height and they call them the you know little kid Tic Tac. So you could mix a match like that if you want to fit as many colors into containers as possible. So because this can fit 7 grams per container, these could probably fit about 14 grams per container. There are still some colors in here that are slightly more than 14 grams. Probably this one, this one. So yeah, two of them. So if you also use some Papa Tic Tacs, you will end up with about two of them that still won't fit in. So some people prefer the Elizabeth Ward system. But for some reason, that system just never been of my interest to myself personally. I prefer these containers. 
So that's that. So here's a review of the drawers of containers. One thing I forgot to mention is here at the front, you could take out the top cover. And this piece of paper, you can also remove and write whatever you want with this. Perhaps you label it for square diamonds only, round diamonds only, whatever kit you're working on. For me personally, I would probably, I would probably leave this one in. And then I will write another piece of paper for the kit that I put them in here. And then put the cover back on. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this at the top drawer because it's already kitted up for the kitty. And I'll find a Ziploc bag to zip these up, put them next to these. So yeah, here's the container and the diamonds for Lunar New Year kitty. So this is the free art style kit. I mainly got it because I missed out on Diamond Art Club's I Am Not A Hoarder kit and I really wanted a kit that says something along the lines of I am not a hoarder, I'm just a diamond art collector. So when I saw this, I thought I would give it a try. So this is what it looks like. And... Oh, she actually included two prints out of them. So this is the original version of the art. This one. It's the original version of the art. And this one is the rendering or like the pixelated version that ended up getting printed on here. So actually that's a really good idea because I'm going to figure out the coloring with this one. Like I'm probably gonna do kind of an adult coloring version if this first is like what color I wanna go with. And with this one, here's where hopefully the magic happens. I'm going to try to put or experiment with the pixels and see how I can make it say something along the lines of diamond art hoarder and I'm gonna have a line over striking through it saying I'm not a hoarder and then collector so I'll we'll say diamond art collector where the hoarder is crossed out so that's my vision for this project I don't know when I'll get to it but when it's done it's probably gonna show up in my video sometime or when I find a wall that can hang them so that it shows up in the video so that would be kind of the theme of the channel. And here's some extra goodies I got from them. Oh. And this is like two extra bags of diamonds for no reason. Not sure why, but. Oh Neil, this is supposed to be the kitty cover minder for the Lunar New Year kitty, but it's split in half. So I'm going to have to contact them. Some extra goodies I got. I've always heard about their super sticky and this is finally my chance to try them. I chose the donut sheep. So here's the wax inside. That's really cute. This is some more wax sample. Two candies. These are some of the special diamonds I got from this shop to try. Let me zoom in. So these are some of the special diamonds I got from the shop to try. I might use this in my kitty. Especially the red ones, the yellow ones, the gold ones. We'll see. I kind of been collecting special diamonds, haven't I? And this is a wax sample. This is another, I think, special diamond sample. It's called Emeralds. It looks a bit more like crystals. More like crystals. So yeah, this is kind of also my haul of all the stuff from Destructed by Diamonds. I actually like this donut the most <laughs> because I really like eating donuts to begin with. Here is a freestyle kit next to me, just so you can see approximately the size or the scale of things. It'll be really fun when I get to it. It's kind of like adult coloring, but with diamond dots. I hope you enjoyed this video so far, especially my review of both of the kits, as well as the art dot containers. Like I said, if you would like to order anything from art dots, feel free to use the link that I'll put in the description down below. And with the code Alice, you'll receive 10% off and free shipping all the time. But I have explicitly declined any commissions 
because I just like to bring my product reviews, my experiences, and what I learned about this hobby throughout the process to the community that has shown me so much kindness and magic. With that being said, if you'd like to stay up to date with what kit I'm working on, see some work in progress pictures, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. I hope we stay in touch and I'll see you next time. Bye.